What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Um, in the next few minutes and in this video, I wanted to do a quick price analysis on a Blocktopia or a Block, B-L-O-K, it's just the abbreviation or the ticker. Uh, mainly because I saw that it was trending. I mean, the last time I did, I did a, a price analysis on Blocktopia is a long time ago. <clears throat> But no, I mean, it's up more than 20%. Uh, volume uh, also up 200%, up to 18 million, which, um, you know, it's at 12.5% of the market cap. That's not nothing, but it definitely was higher and back in uh, back in its heyday. Um, obviously, it has dropped quite a bit throughout, uh, throughout the week since the 4th of December. <clears throat> but still, um, today was quite strong, so I just wanted to do a quick analysis on it. Uh, first, I wanted to say two quick things. First of all, this whole analysis is not financial advice. Second of all, this whole analysis is based upon the assumption that we remain in relatively stable markets. So if anything fundamentally changes, so let's say a further escalation in Ukraine, um, please forget about the whole analysis because frankly, fundamentals are still stronger than technicals. And so let's get right into it. So what we did with Blocktopia, with Block, is actually we touched this 1.9 cents. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, 1.9 cents area, which is part of a, a bigger key level, basically around 2 cents. And uh, we are now retracing up to this small key level and also the retest of the 236 FIP at around 1.7 cents. So I think we can actually get higher towards uh, 2 cents as long as we stay above 1.7. So I would really think we would need to see a support touch off of 1.7. Uh, from there, I think, as I said, we can reach two cents and maybe even if, if this bullish momentum keeps up, if we break like 2.1 cents, we can even get as far as 2.4 cents. Uh, but that's, uh, that, that, that's a further bullish move, which isn't necessarily going to happen if we reach two cents. Uh, but it's possible if we break, as I said, um, well, if we break at least two cents, let's just call it like that. So if we stay above 1.7 cents, I think we can reach two cents. Um, and if we break two cents, the next price target is 2.4 cents. But it seems unlikely that this move, that's this move, is going to happen. Uh, and if we don't stay above 1.7, I mean, at this point of time, we're actually in quite a big bearish candle. Uh, if we don't manage to stay above that, at least close above that, I mean, the price could go down even more, but as, as long as we close above it, it's fine. Um, but if we don't, if we close below it, then unfortunately, I think it is inevitable to drop down to one and a half cents again, um, which is a support level I do think will hold. And from there, we'll probably consolidate. But that does mean that, um, that this bullish momentum is out of the price and also that we'll probably not be entering an, an, an uptrend soon. Um, it will be more likely to be, you know, either uh, a downtrend down to one, one cent, um, but it looks to me that this uh, res or support level at around uh, 1.25, 1.3 cents is good enough. So uh, then we would probably see something like this. So yeah, that's basically my analysis on Blocktopia or a blog. If you do have any questions about the analysis, then please let me know down in the comments and I'll make sure to respond to that as soon as possible. As for now, thank you all for watching and listening and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.